High Definition Digital Radio broadcasting from the city to the world www.cityworldradio.com it is good evening new york city greetings to the world you're tuned in to chirp about it live i am your host pat sainville we're broadcasting on a city world radio network in the great lovely city of manhattan folks great city with that we have a spectacular show for you tonight i mean we have so many people before me i don't even know where to begin here uh but we certainly have uh music uh uh uh, artists in the house with us tonight in fact we have a uh, music duo team husband and wife uh uh myrna and the Bulldog, who will be performing uh, with us in just a little bit. So sit tight and hear. We're going to hear a lot from them as well. We also have Mr. Ian Bamberger, my co-host, Hello, is, uh, in the house, and a good friend of mine, Roger. Uh, we also have uh, the president. Uh, well, well, why don't you uh, mention your, uh, your, uh, your organization, so, Rob? It's called Musicians for Musicians. Okay. Uh, the short version is MFM. And, uh, yes, I'm the president, but I'm... Also, like all the people here, hardworking musician. All right, so there you go. We're going. He just chirped about it for uh, for those of you who wanted to hear from him. So, well, we sit tight. We're going to hear a lot from him in, in just a little bit. I'll just begin the show. We also have Jade in the house who keeps things together. Thank you, Jade, uh, for that. You know, uh, for those uh, my audience, uh, I don't know if we have some time for uh, for any phone calls, but feel free to call in anyway. You may have a question or two for uh, some people on the panel. Uh, please call 646-690-2976. 646-690-2976. Please call in uh, and just, you know, chirp about it. Uh, just ask uh, anyone on, my, on the panel a question or two. I'm, I've been a little bit off. I'm going to be very honest with everyone in here and my audience who uh, usually hear from me. Uh, I heard that last week. Someone, two people actually mentioned to me that I seem a little bit off. I have been, you know, for... Uh, Whatever, you know, I've been extremely busy. And uh, this past week, exactly a week ago, uh, I witnessed something. Ian, I don't know if I told you about this. Not in person, but I've But, uh, hmm. You know, uh, uh, at my office building last Tuesday, I'll make it very short and brief, but I've never experienced anything like that in my life. Uh, going down, walking down the stairs uh, at my office building, I stumbled onto a dead body. Um, and apparently the man committed suicide. He jumped from the uh, seventh floor and he uh landed on the second floor um and poor me who's just yeah. going down for a cup of coffee and uh i stumbled upon uh this uh this lifeless man whose body was all over the place uh. so uh yeah since then i've been really traumatized i have to say uh, but you know what that same evening i canceled the show and then i said you know what i'm gonna do the show and i did the show anyway last tuesday and I pulled it off. Um, but I still haven't recovered, you know. And that just tells you I'm just a human being just like everybody else, and I have feelings. So I just wanted to share that with everyone just in case if I'm a little off uh, this evening. But I think I'll do fine before you great, uh, great people uh, here. So, yeah, I'm a little emotional. But anyhow, speaking of that, uh, this poor uh, 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 helicopter f- uh, pilot who also just lost his life. Um, just yesterday, uh, again, in the world's greatest city, New York City, who crashed uh, apparently on a rooftop in Midtown. So uh, my condolences go out to this man's family. From what I uh, understand, he was a great, great, great man. I haven't heard anything bad about, negative about this man uh, yet so far. So uh, it's a pity. Um, for some reason, he wasn't uh, licensed, or he wasn't certified to uh, to be flying in the, the, the conditions we had yesterday. Okay. So that might have something, or may have something to do with it, uh, because yesterday was foggy and rain, and so on and so yeah. forth and so forth. All right, that's it. I just, I, I you know, the, the coast is clear with uh, my, uh, I don't know what you want to call it, not negativity, but my uh, heartfelt feelings. 
It is been what a it week. is. It's yeah, been it's been a week. So now yeah. we're going to chirp about it. We have some great musicians yes. in the house, and we're going to rock the show tonight. Yeah, yeah baby. All right. All right. Okay. Actually, you know, it was a Puerto Ricans Day parade was on uh, Sunday, this past Sunday. And I, I was there, in fact. Yeah, and let me tell you, what a beautiful day it was on Sunday. Ooh, yeah. The sun was shining. I was in Central Park. I was on Fifth Avenue. A lot of salsa, let me tell you. Ooh, Dance. ooh, ooh. Yeah, I did a little, uh, you know, a little, uh, you know, a little shake and shake. You know, I'm very good with salsa, by the way. Oh, no, you know, no. I got to get out to Gonzalez Gonzalez and dance some, do some dancing because that's what's needed in life. That's what's necessary. Good Laughter, dancing. fun, music, and love. That's yeah. what we need. Okay, so that, that was great. So shout out to all the Puerto Ricans. I was not on the air, so I have to do my shout outs now. You know what I mean? So that's that. Um, I'm going to talk about uh, Cuba Gooden Ju- Jr. The reason I bring him up is because we hang out at this place, this restaurant uh, in Soho. I'm not going to mention anything. But I have i shouldn't say this, but I've, I've seen some things. And now he's in the paper uh, for allegedly groping uh, some young woman uh, at a uh, bar on Sunday. Uh, I don't know if you guys ever have heard of it, yeah. but yeah. So um, I'm going to say something to Cuba just cut it out. You know, we're in the time of hashtag me too. Everyone needs respect. I don't care whom you are. I don't care how much money you, you have, Oscar winner or not. Cut it out. All right? No one deserves that. Period. Okay? So I'm going to leave it at that. Um, let us, let, you know, I'll let him prove himself or whatever. Innocent or not. Who knows? Yeah. But um, I've seen some things in the past. That's all I will say. Okay, the notorious uh, B.I.G., you know, Christopher Wallace, you know, Biggie Smalls. Oh, yeah. Uh, in Brooklyn, you know, he's uh, he was born in Bed-Stuy, Brooklyn. And uh, as of yesterday or Sunday, they actually renamed uh, a street in Brooklyn, St. James Place, uh, in Bedford-Stuyvesant, and it's now called Christopher Wallace uh, Way. Oh, wow. Which is, uh, yeah, which is great. And uh, it, it, uh, apparently, you know, they had uh, some... Uh, activist has been fighting for many, many, many years. It's been 22 years since this man has been uh, executed. 22 years. It's gone by like that. You know, so... Um, 24 years old, too. Was he 24? 24. 24? Yeah, he, he looked really? older, but... Yeah. Wow. He was super young. Yeah. Okay, well, you know, uh, get all my... You know, God rest his soul mm-hmm. and his uh, lovely mom who uh, made a nice speech in Brooklyn Outdoors. Um, so that was nice. You know, there's always good that comes out of you know, anything bad or what have you. I always say so. Sometimes it takes many, many, many years to figure it out. But, you know, the answer uh, is there. With that, you know, please tune into my show on AM 970 every Saturday. The answer. Okay, so just uh, make sure you tune in. AM 970 every Saturday from 1.30 to 2 p.m. With that, Ian, do you have any local topics that you'd like to... uh, you know, sure. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, I mentioned this on the show this past Saturday, but at Madison Square Garden, uh, we had Andy Ortiz versus uh, Anthony Joshua, and Andy Ortiz oh. defeated him, becoming the first Mexican-American lineal heavyweight champion. Oh, of the wow. World. Really? Yeah. So it's very exciting. Did you know about that, Myrna? Well, Trevor, about it. Let's talk. Let's well, talk no, about I it. I just know that we saw that. And my husband was saw it. My dad just loves boxing. Oh, okay. So I had to call him, and I'm like, Dad. <laughs> he, was like, he was like really excited mm-hmm. about it. He's like, Wow, I can't believe it because he knew both boxers, and so they were just amazing. Yeah. So. All right, good. It's like Where a Rocky story, the Mexican Rocky. Yeah, the Mexican. The Mex- yeah I think I heard someone okay. mention that the Mexican hey, Rocky. Oh. <laughs> I like that. All right. Well, well, shout out to him. All right. If uh, if you don't have any other local topics, if anyone has a local topic here, please ch- feel free to chirp about it. Going once, the, the going Tonys, twice. The Tonys. The Tonys. Did you guys watch the Tonys? I did not watch the Tonys. the Tonys. No. Yeah, there was some. Firsts How was it? That w- amazing. There were some firsts there too. Oh yeah. We have a, a young lady that won, like she's in a wheelchair, and she's like the first. Oh wow. Uh, person in a wheelchair to win a Tony. Oh, how nice. So it was really, really cool. Oh. Yeah, to watch just such diversity is just amazing. Yeah. It, it, was, it was really nice. Speak about diversity. New York is the yeah, diversity. Know. You know? It's a great city in the world. The greatest. And that's why we have the show Chirp About It, where we allow New Yorkers and people who visit New York to chirp their New York moments, thoughts, or opinions. Just like we love it. All right, with that, I think it's about that time to liven up the show and do what we do best. Ian, what do you say? All right, folks, these comments you're about to hear. Real comments from real New Yorkers. Your mothers, your brothers, your sex partners, your train conductors, your whomever. Jade, give us some of that tune. Also, folks, Folks, if you'd like to call in live with your chart, please call 646-690-2976. 646-690-2976. 
800-242-2976. Call in the Chirp Your New York Moment. We'd love to hear from you. With that, Ian Barber. All right. Chirp about it, baby. Let's go. Here we go. First Chirp of the Week. Uh, this is Rachel from Long Island, and Rachel has to say this. There must be something in the New York City air. Everyone's holding hands. I was about to roll over my way through there. Break up, folks. <laughs> I get that. You get it? Yeah. It's yeah. like everyone's holding hands. You can't. It's blocking you. You know, well, it's like this barricade yeah, of hands Red being held. Through. Barricade of lovers. That's what it is. It I'm not going to knock it. It's Pride it is. Weekend, That's right. right. So That's right. World Pride Month. in the air. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know, in fact, June 28th or 29th marks the 50th year anniversary of the uh, Stonewall Inn. All right. So we've come a long way. We've come a long way. That's come right. On. With that. All right. Who's going to chirp about it? You, you want to chirp about it? Okay. <laughs> I'll All right, Myrna, what do you All have? Right. So, New York, this is from Leonard from Texas. I'm from Texas. Hey, Leonard. New York City never ceases to amaze me. I love it in winter, spring, summer, fall. Always something interesting going on. That's right. Always something interesting going on in the, great, in the, in the greatest city of the world. You better believe it. Who's the trapper, by the way? Leonard from Texas. All right, Leonard from Texas. Well, wow, way out in Texas. All right. Also, folks, if you'd like to hear your comments live on the show, please go on to my website, chirpaboutit.com. Share those New York moments, thoughts, your opinions. We'd love to hear from you. All right, the Bulldog, what are you chirping about this <laughs> evening? Welcome. Hey, can we get Starbucks on Subway? Hold on. Let's, uh, let's turn his mic on here. Okay. All right, there we go. Can we get, <laughs> can we get Starbucks on Subway platforms? Could really use a cup. While I wait, hashtag food font thought. Food, food for thought. thought. Okay, yeah, we can use a Starbucks on every plat. I, I, I would, I wouldn't mind that. Uh, that would be great for Starbucks. That would be, that would be great. Listen, while we're waiting a gazillion minutes <laughs> or hours or whatever, you might as well can grab a cup of coffee yeah. and wake us up, huh? Yeah. Wake us up. <laughs> that was from How about a hot dog vendor, too? Uh, there we go, huh? <laughs> right. We have ideas on the show. Food for thought, yeah. as uh, Joanne just mentioned. All right, thanks for that, Chirp. Joanne, keep them coming at chirpaboutit.com. Ian Bamberger, what do you have? Ooh, okay, we have Joanne from Rockaway Park, and Joanne has to say this. Also along the topic of subway platforms. Hello, MTA. How about Purell hand sanitizer stations on the subway platform? Hashtag food for thought. Food That's for a, thought again. That's the yeah. same, same chirper, huh? Hand All right, she's on a roll. I, I Look, these are great ideas for the subway. That's smart. That's, That's smart, smart, huh? Yeah, yeah. People rubbing on these poles and touching. I've seen I've seen so many things on the, on the subway. I can't even mention <laughs> on the show. What about you, man? Have, okay. <laughs> I won't go there, but I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll I know do you Ma- won't go there. Let's not go there. I'll do Maurice <laughs> from All right, let's Flatiron. Do Maurice. Let's go. He said, just watched a dude smash into a bus stop, calmly exit his vehicle, and walk into a pizza shop. Mm. Is this done (laughs) anywhere else for pizza? Hashtag SMH, hashtag New York Pizza, hashtag online, only in New York. Uh, that's right. only that's an only yeah. in New York yeah. moment. That's that's actually an interesting observation. <laughs> well, you know, the rumor has it we do have the best pizza in the world, huh? I mean, you know, anyone, uh, what, what do you think? Let's take a vote here. Uh, Chicago pizza, New York City pizza. What do you got? Chicago. What do you say, Bulldog? Chicago. Cut their throats off. Yeah. Nothing, huh? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Chicago's got nothing on New York pizza. That's what it is. All right. I guess that's what happened with this gentleman here. Slammed his car, walked in for a slice of pizza. I guess that's the remedy, huh? Oh, <laughs> all right. All right. Do we have one more chirp before oh, we take that's a break? It for me. All right. Uh, going once, going twice. Does anyone here on the panel have a personal chirp? New York moment, thought, observation. Oh, I just think it's very good. Yeah. All right. Go ahead. A little Let's shout out to Italy on the pizza because we, we're talking about worldwide here. So. All right. Little shout out on the uh, thought. All right, there there you go. Moment starts your opinions. There we go. All right, that was Roger. All right, with that, folks, that was our round of chirps. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, Again, if you'd like to hear your show, your uh, show, your comment live on the show, please go into my website, chirpaboutit.com, to hear your New York moment starts your opinions. With that, Ian Bamberger, take it away. All right. So uh, before I hit this, I want to say hello to everyone on the show. How's it going? Please introduce yourselves one more time for the audience. Hey, everybody, this is Myrna coming to you live with the Bulldog. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Who do we have over here, Mr. Roger? I'm Roger Blanc. I'm the uh, solo guitar player of the evening, joining uh, Ian for some music down the road. Beautiful. I love it. And then we have uh, Saurabh here. I'm Saurabh Sadat Lajivardi, president and professional musician. And now I would like to chirp. <laughs> Making music is a profession. I love it. Oh, beautiful. That. Ooh, that's a great chirp, huh? Damn right. We're professionals. I love it. All right, with that, Ian Bagbert, let's do it. All right, this is called Sheriff's Wife. I've got a music video out for it, and I hope you guys enjoy. Yeah! 
Ian Bamberger, folks. Trip about it live. Well, I'm hiking down that trail. Oh, I couldn't make bail. My mind is two places at once. Well, I busted out of town. Now they're trying to track me down. No. Why did I fall in love? I had to fall in love. Well, now the hour's getting late, so I jump the front gate to get one last look at my lady. I saw her through the window and I decided it was time to go. Why did I fall in love? I had to fall in love. Take it away, Roger. Roger Blank. Right. Well, it's been a week on the road, cruising on a, a bike I stole. I see something I like, it's mine. A man was big and mean, I tried to get away clean, but I had to fall in love. Why did I fall in love? Well, I see. Wants to be my wife, yeah. Uh, a he wants to take my life, no, yeah. I, I fell in love with the sheriff's wife, or with the sheriff's wife, or with the sheriff's wife, oh, yeah. Well, I made it to the border today. I try to get away. I saw the sheriff point his gun at me. Try to turn around. I put the trigger, shot me down. No, why did I fall in love? I had to fall in love. I fell in love. Woohoo! Ian Bamberger, folks! Right. Ian Bamberger! We'll be right back! Hi, folks. This is Ed Lemo. Who is Ed Lemo and why should I listen? Ed Lemo is an attorney that is unique in that he gives consumers good, solid information about the law that will help protect them against irresponsible drivers, landowners, and doctors in hospitals who are negligent and cause you harm. Ed Lemo has been representing individuals against insurance companies since 1984. Ed Lemo limits his practice to accident, injury, and medical malpractice claims. You can find out more about me at my website at www.lemolaw.com. That's www.lemolaw.com. Or you can reach me at 646-522-9082. So if you're injured in an accident or a victim of malpractice and you need a trial attorney who has experience in the courtroom and gets results, Call Ed Lemo at 646-522-9082, or you can reach me at edwardlemo at yahoo.com. Or you can go to my website for further information, www.lemolaw.com. You'll be glad you did. Thank you. Are your body hair problems the usual suspects? Underarms, legs, bikini lines, chest, and back hair? It's time to do something about it. Bear Hair Laser Removal Specialist is the right call. Call them now for a free consultation at 646-462-3235. They're waiting on your call. Call. Set up an appointment at this nominated top provider in skin treatments. Located in Hell's Kitchen at 503 West 51st Street off 10th Avenue in New York City. And open seven days. They also do skin contouring and tightening, all skin colors, waxing, eyelash extensions, lifting, 
Lifting, Curls, and Tinting. They also offer advanced facial treatments. Using the latest technology, Bear Hair Removal Specialist is the best. Call them today at 646-462-3235 or visit them online at bearbody.com. That's bear, B-A-I-R-E, body.com. You'll be glad you did. Mention Chirp About It Live and get up to 25% off most procedures. 646-462-3235 or bearbody.com. All right. Also, this show was brought to you by Chirp and Chicken. So uh, for tonight's meal, go on to uh, chirpandchickensdown.com. Download their app for a huge discount. In fact, 5%. Just uh, just tell them that I chirped about it live on the show, Chirp About It Live. We're also brought to you by Accordia Shipping. For all of your shipping needs, please go on to accordiashipping.com. Uh, download their app for a huge discount as well. Or just tell them that I chirped about it live on the show. Chirp about it. Okay. That was such a song, Ian. Oh, yeah, a little rock and roll. Yeah, I saw that. Huh? Everyone actually interacted. We had three guitar players. Yeah, three, three guitars going at it in this it. one little room. It's power Super. music. Super. Oh, I'm so happy to have Ian by my side. I got to tell you. And I'm actually so happy to have everyone here before me, you know, especially uh, my these past few days. I've been out of it, but now I'm so happy again. I love doing this show. And, you know, and the great thing about it is that I always get to see interesting and meet interesting people every week, you know, and that's that's the beauty of it, beauty of life. All right, now with that, we have, I'll just reintroduce uh, this lovely couple, this duo. It's like the modern day Bonnie, uh, Sonny, and, and Cher. You know, there you we, go. We, yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah. do get told that. <laughs> you do? Yes. All right, well, we have Myrna uh, in the house, and we have the Bulldog. All right, that's the name of your group. Myrna and the Bulldog. <laughs> I love it. All right, well, welcome to Chirp About It Live. Hope you're having fun so far. This is a um, lot of fun. Yeah? Do you time. like the chirps? I do. Yeah, I saw you. I, I really think you do. like chirping about it. Well, you can always come back and chirp. You know, we, we always need the help. I would do it. <laughs> totally. <laughs> well, welcome to the show. Thank so we're here to discuss you, your music uh, band, and, and uh, your music and everything else. So first off, tell us about your group, all right? Myrna and the Bulldog. That sounds very interesting to me, number one. It is. It is. Well, we met, uh, music is actually how we met and fell in love. Mm. And uh, even though I pushed him away, there's a whole story to that. I could chirp about chirp, that chirp for about hours. <laughs> um, but uh, we ended up uh, doing what you're not supposed to do in a band is date. But mm. we, you know, is that forbidden? Sin. Is that really yeah, forbidden? Yeah, they're like, you know. It, you're well, supposed to. It, you know, it, it can it, get in the I way. Can, yeah, it can get in it the can way. break I up a band. See. It's broken up some bands, yeah, right, right, you guys? Right. So, uh, so look yeah. At, look at John and Yoko. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> 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 but, yeah, so um, he got the nickname the Bulldog from uh, Jerry Martini, Papa Jay from Sly and the Family Stone. We recorded down in Austin. He came down and is on our record. Mm-hmm. And... Uh, Gave him the name the Bulldog, and I told him, when a Rock and Roll Hall of Famer gives you a nickname, you yeah. use that nickname. You use that yeah. nickname. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that stuck, and so we have been Myrna and the Bulldog since. I love it. Yeah. I, so how long has that been? I mean, how long has it been since uh, you've been together? What's as far coming as the up? band. Oh, the band. Well, I guess oh. as long as we've been together. <laughs> okay. <laughs> really? Well, you know, we. I was in your band and then maybe a year or so later, we got married. Oh, wow, beautiful. So. I love these beautiful I'm stories. I'm not sure this microphone's on. Is it? No, yeah, you're just you not. It's on. you got to get closer. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, he's got a big guitar, you know? Yeah. <laughs> it's keeping him between yeah, me and the mic. Said. He's here to play. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. But, yeah, okay. so um, I guess it's 15 years. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and we've enjoyed it. We've had such a band in history. Right. <laughs> <laughs> we've had such a good time. Well, I think the Stones have been around longer. Yeah. 50 years or something. Know. And we've gotten okay. to the point where we can actually like s- write a song civilly and not argue. Like we used to argue about lyrics and oh my God. Yeah, but then that fades, you know. And then I mean, now we're like. We're professionals. So we're professional yes, lovers as and professional you said. musicians. Yes, yeah. exactly. All right, with that, I don't want to waste any time. <laughs> I'd like to hear a song uh, uh, from you two. Uh, Right yeah. now, let's do it. Let's do New York City. Okay. Let's th- do since it. we're oh. since we're in the groove, right, and chirping yeah. about it, let's chirp about it. You ready? Yeah. Vernon the Bulldog, folks. New York City. Yeah. I knew in my heart I'd get my start. You've 
made it everywhere When you make it here in New York City Light shines so bright It's never raining out in New York City Gonna take this guitar Across the city streets Down the avenues Up to you to win or lose It's a state of mind It's an attitude Ain't got time to sing the blues I'm here What a song. Thank Get you. past New York. I like that. <laughs> what a song, huh? Yeah. I'll actually have to use that. You don't, I hope you don't mind. I got to use that Good. somewhere on the show. Even. I love oh, it. New oh, York yeah. City. Be it. before the trip. So I like it. Yeah, huh? When that's we record good. this tune, I want uh, Billy Joel to play on it. Yeah, that's going to be a good song. So is this a new song or uh, have you had uh-huh. it for a it's while? Yeah. yeah. It's new. All right. Since we moved here. So All right. working on it. You know, some songs, you, you probably know that, you guys know this, yeah. like some songs you are right away, yeah, they come, and, and they're there, go back and some and are like, oh, I don't yeah. know where you belong. Yeah, and then you it know? fits in somewhere and then years later. All of a sudden, it's like, oh, that's what that line should be. Yeah, yeah. I love mm-hmm. it. So who does the songwriting for uh, for this duo couple? You both. We Beautiful. both do. What, uh, wh- what inspires you? I mean, where's the inspiration come from? Anywhere? or uh, um, For me, like, this is really weird, but... Mm. When I'm in the bathtub or I'm driving. Interesting. Like s- music comes mm-hmm. to me and then the lyrics and then I give it to him and I'm like, okay, this is what it's sounding like. This is, these are the lyrics and then he yeah, takes that's it. The thing. She'll and he makes come it up sexy. with something and she'll sing it and then I'll sit there, what are you playing out there? Like, what yeah. is that And he figures chord? it out. Mm. So it's, mm. uh, he knows my language. Yeah, yeah 15 yeah. years. Yeah. He better. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no kidding. How about you? Well, I'll just uh, anything inspires mm-hmm. me I mean I'd, if I hear somebody say a certain phrase or that, yeah. I see a sign on the wall or uh, just anything yeah yeah and a lot of times well we came up with this one tune that I had the I had the tune but I'm listening to it I couldn't figure out what is this song about mm-hmm. nothing about yeah. it hit usually it's like a little mm-hmm. phrase or something nothing so I gave it to her and she came up with a great song. It's one of our best tunes. All right. So well, let's, 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 let's hear it. Oh, I was going to say there's another oh, one. What? Oh, what? We you want to play it? No, there was another song, too, I wrote for his son mm-hmm. that oh, ended yeah. up completely changing and becoming this other song. Hmm. It was so crazy. It's so That's crazy how songs, like, just, you start out something well, and art, then it just, you know? yeah. It's another form of art. Yeah, as long as you're not Freedom. stubborn about it. Yeah. You know what I mean? And yeah. you let it flow. You go, okay, so obviously this is taking me over here. Over here. Let me listen to it and see what. And I think that's kind of like maybe our when we're in tune with, you know, the grand picture, the big scheme, whatever mm-hmm. you want to call it, you know. Um, and, and we listen to our subconscious, I think, that says a lot of things that are very important. She, you know. uh, she says a bit, uh, this one tune I wrote, I took a piece of paper and I put, 
I wrote 100, 1,000, 10,000, 100,000, million, billion. Mm. And so then I wrote around that. And after it was all done, I looked at it, I go, this is just a bunch of words, so I called it Just Words. Just Words. Mm. She thinks it's the best song I've ever written. All right. But we're not going to play that one. No, we're not. <laughs> oh, don't tease your bulldogs. No, we Come can on. play that one. Be a leash for this guy. Yeah, let's play that song. Right. We this have enough time from us, uh, many songs by you guys, so let's <laughs> oh, do it. Oh, so we can do it. Oh, this, yeah. This song actually, tonight. when I first uh, met him and he was doing an open mic and he invited me and I heard him do this song and I went, <gasps> This guy, man, he's deep. I'm he's heavy, like, man. I'm like, I I'm like heavy. this guy. Yeah. And then when he tells me later, it's like, oh, it was just an exercise. Just I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's all it was. Okay. All right, let's Shall hear it from the, by the bulldog. Yeah. Okay. A hundred times I call your name, try to get you to explain. Feelings that I hide. Oh. A thousand times I took the blame on my weary head and shame and buried it all inside. In my heart, all just words that. Ding, 
that is. Yeah. Woo-hoo. That was just words, man. Just fire. Words. Nice. That's all I can say. How smooth. I just want to shut up and just continue to hear you guys all play. Right. Yeah, that's what I well, want. I don't to want do. you to shut up. Oh no. Now it's just so you're here so, for to speak. Yeah, I know. Well, <laughs> I'd rather I'd rather listen to nice soothing music. I you know, I I'm more that. talented than I am. You know, Aww. when it comes to that. Do you want to hear some Spanish? Yes, in Ooh. fact, I wanted to speak. Uh, you have a song that I actually like. Actually, a few songs that uh, by you guys that Thank I like. You. But there's a uh, uh, un dia. Oh, un dia. Well, did you have one that? Uh, I did. All right, there's let's another do the one. one. There's also there's also oh. amor sincero. All right, let's do more more better. more sincero. Oh, I'm so, I'm more sincero. Let me get that. Is that uh, more sincere? Sincere love. Sincere love. Oh. More sincero. Oh. Sounds romantic. All right, you know what? what let, Spanish one do you like? Let, let's pre- oh, well, there's a couple, but we, we, we you know. <laughs> well, let's do more sincero. Oh, okay. All right, let's so spread the love. This, because you were talking about songs, this was inspired by a movie I was watching called Blue Angel, and Marlena Dietrich is in it, and she breaks this guy's heart. It's just... <gasps> she destroys he wanna, him. She destroys him, basically. Oh. And so he ends up, like, leaving his job, leaving everything, following her around the world, and then she just kind of discards him. Oh, mm. And she sings this song called Falling in Love Again. And then I was like, I love that. And so then I came up with Amor Sincero, which was my version of what the woman is telling the guy. The guy. So I'm not, I'm not a very nice person. I'm also an actor, so a lot of times I'll, yeah, yeah. I'll do a lot of, like, when I'm writing lyrics, I try to make them very much like, co- like a conversational scene. So this one's, a, I'll do a little bit of what she did and then move into it. I'll do a little Marlena Dietrich, you need a cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> Falling in love again, never wanted to. Falling in love again, what am I to do? Men cluster to me like moths around the flame. And if their wings get burned, then you know I'm not to blame. Smoke break. Falling in love again. Never wanted to Two, three, four Yeah! Hey, hey, hey,
saying you know spanish is hot let me tell you it's hot in here right now <laughs> oh, what a hot song <laughs> it's on the lights where you can't understand i could be singing Woo! about trash cans who knows like, you know it's just, it just gets steamy though i love it's it like what a sound so sexy. <laughs> oh my god what a sound i love it yeah geez so when was this song written by the way when well, yeah yeah when did you write this been song? a while this was a bathtub song yeah, bathtub yeah. song. Okay, yeah, it was. <laughs> it's one of, those where I'm like <laughs> one of the ones you came up I, with in the bathtub. It's been years. It's one of our older tunes. I most love definitely. it, and it still rocks today. That's the magic of music. Thank you. you know, music is endless. You know, there's no time. I, it's no I timeless. Agree. Timeless. And some songs just don't like. That, like we said, it's like you, you f- they find a home later because it's yeah. like mm-hmm. it's not about right now. It's, yeah. It's a, yeah. I love it. Now, we spoke about before you said the song, you uh, mentioned that you are uh, not only a music artist, you are an actress I as am, well. I am. In fact, you played in a, 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 a tune with Jessica Jones on Netflix. Yes, I did. Miss uh, Bianca. Yes. Is that right? Did Bianca I pronounce Torres. that correctly? Yeah, I yeah. was a Dr. Torres. Dr. Torres. Torres. Yes. All right, tell For us sure. about, uh, you know, that. Oh, that part. was. That was amazing. That mm-hmm. was a really, really fun show to be on just because it, it it's, no, I love you guys, but it was an, a lot of women, the women, female director, <laughs> the, the love strong. Women. I love all the, the strong women that are written in that show mm-hmm. that just to me, I'm like, yeah, I want to see some, some ladies kicking butt. That's right. So that was an incredible one. I went into the audition and, you know, you never know. You go in and you do your best and then you leave it there. You interpret how you feel the character would be, would should be, should be it. Be. Through funneled through you, mm-hmm. and uh, when I got the call, I was just so super excited. And then when I found out that uh, it was going to recur, I was even more excited. Right. So it was a, a wonderful set. Everyone was just uh, really giving and and um, and just open because you mm-hmm. know when people do shows like Law and Order SVU, for example, mm-hmm. I was on that. Um, they have a family. They're like a family vibe because they've been doing it for so for long so together long. Yeah. that, yeah. Th- you know, you're coming in as like the new kid. So, mm-hmm. so you know, you get, it's kind of a little, little, you know, nervous, nervous and scary. Yeah. Yeah. So you're like how, you know, will my new family like me? But but they were just <laughs> they were just wonderful and open. And, 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 and I love that. And I love also when they let you uh, play. Yes. You know, I've had some parts where they, they're like, well, let's improv a little. And that's... That's the best. You know, like when you're improving in music is it. amazing, right? Yeah. It's just you go with that feeling, whatever's yes. going. Yes. So when I get to do that, that's that's exciting as well. So, I like that. Yeah. S- speaking of improv, I think it's about that time to do some improv. Let's what do you get say? Something yeah. with three, four, yeah, why not? five, do it. six people going. Of course. Uh, yeah. That's what the show is all about. All right? There's no structure. We just go at it. We just go oh, for it. What that's about it. And, and lyri- I think, I, yeah, I heard of, oh, and even um, lyrics, right? You just he just comes it. up with something and everyone just jumps in. Let's do it. Let's get down. Ian Bamber, good folks, chirp about it live with a T. Let's yeah. get down tonight. Cause we got the bulldog Ooh. We got Roger Ooh. And the 
got Mrs. On the vocals. What's your name? Myrna. Don't forget my name. My name is Myrna. Yeah, we're gonna trip about it. We got all of New York at the tip of our tongue. Yeah, we want to know what's going on in Chirpa Valley. Oh, Chirpa Valley. You got to yeah. Chirpa Valley. Yeah. Let's go, Roger. Yeah. Roger Blank, folks. I'm gonna chirp about it. You want me to chirp about it? All, all, all night long. Oh, yeah. Gonna chirp about it. Chirp about it all night long. I hear a chirp. Do you hear a chirp? Oh, yeah, I hear a chirp. I like the subway. Just be here on time. So I don't lose my mind. Chirp about it. Chirp about it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love it. Chirp about it. It is fun. Chirp about it live. Yep. Live on City World Radio, I'll tell you, what a fun, fun, fun <laughs> evening, man. I'll tell you, you guys cheer me up, all right? Yeah, yes, I'm so cheered up. It's like blues. it just came and it's gone, it's out. Yes, good. just like the devil. Good. Love it. <laughs> that was so much fun. We're going to do it again before Music we end the show. Healing. Music Very is healing. Very healing. It is. So. I think more powerful than medicine. I you know, happiness, laughter, I really believe so. Yeah, more than money, more mm-hmm. than anything else. Mm-hmm. You find that spot, mm-hmm. you find that area, mm-hmm. you grab onto it, you latch on. You got it. Oh, at the Tonys, somebody, I can't remember his name, but he said, always surround yourself with people yep. that whose eyes light up when you walk in the room. Yep. That's oh, right. That's Beautiful. That's true. Right? Yeah. Just like, you know, Bulldog's uh, eyes lit up when, he, when you walked in the room. <laughs> so we're going to switch it over to uh, Bulldog here. Um, you actually come from a history of... of Bread songwriters in uh, Texas. That's what I've heard. That's what you've heard. Oh, well, well, that's what I've heard. So <laughs> please, chirp about it. Tell us. Well, um, in fact, I think one you uh, your uh, Jimmy Jimmy Rogers. Is one is your uncle or uh, is it your uncle or well, cousin? Uh, he was my great great uncle mm-hmm. on my grandma Cook side. Okay. That she was Rogers, then she married my grandfather, mm-hmm. who was a cook. So, yeah, I, I, I probably shouldn't tell this story, but... Um, sure up about it. Is there I, a censorship? I can't, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need to be censored. I'll go, I go to a family reunion, right? <laughs> and I'm listening to all my aunts, and they go, what happened to, what happened to, to uh, Wallace over there? He'd be like a cousin or something. Mm-hmm. He goes, well, he drank himself to death. Mm-hmm. And so then another story came up, uh... Uncle D, what happened to him? He drank himself to death. And so this went on about five times, and they brought up uh, Jimmy Rogers. What happened to, what happened to Jimmy? He swallowed his tongue, oh. choked to death. He had been drinking for two weeks straight. Oh my goodness! <laughs> he swallowed his damn. <laughs> Is that a true story? Oh my goodness! I'll tell you, stay away from that. Calm down with the alcohol, folks. You know, with that, we're gonna. You, you guys have a song that I really love. Oh, yeah. All right, it's called Drunk. Huh. Let's hear that. Can we do that song tonight? Yeah. It's one of my favorites. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, uh, you only call because you you're call drunk, me when you're drunk, or you only call me when you're drunk. I wrote it for him. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, folks. 
I did, yeah. Man and the Bulldog. Right, you let only me call some, me when you're drunk. Let me drunk. some tequila. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's water, folks. We're keeping it clean. All right. <clears throat> Speak for yourself. <laughs> you only call me when you're drunk. Woo! You only call me when you're drunk. Yeah! If I'm a secret that you're keeping, you better find. They should. You only love me when you need. You're really tender when you need. I'm tired of being such a bother. Folks, show has come to an end. Actually, close. Now I don't like it when you breathe. Oh, my ah, God. you just annoy me Ooh. when you end the show. I know, but now I that I found to. another lover, let me close it out. Time for you to go, <laughs> <laughs> folks. That was our episode of Chirp About It Live. Or oh, I'd like to thank Murda and the Bulldog. I'd like thank to thank you. Robert thank Blank you. on guitar. Along with my co-host, my partner here on the show, Mr. Ian Bamberger. And we also have Sir Rob in the house. He'll be back. Folks, that was our episode of Chirp About It Live. We'll be back same time, same place. City War Radio Network. Bring it up, folks. Till next time. Yeah! Now I don't like it when you breathe. You just annoy me when you breathe. Now that I found another lover, I think it's high time that you leave. Why do you make me feel like I ain't no good instead of letting someone else love me like they should? Feelings of pleasure coursing through my veins, knowing you won't change, so I've gotta rearrange my life. I don't need you. Discovering my treasure cleanse me of the pain. I have everything to gain, it'll never be the same, my life. I'm gonna leave you, I said Feels a pleasure coursing through my veins Knowing you won't change, so I've gotta rearrange my life Ooh, I don't need you Discover my treasure, cleanse me of the pain I have everything to gain, it'll never be the same in my life I'm gonna leave you You only call me when you're drunk You only call me when you're drunk If I'm a secret that you're keeping You better find another one Well I found my pride and I took it back And I've been told I'm damn good How you like that? <laughs> Thank you so much We all want our kids to grow up safe and healthy So we show them how and we tell them with honest conversations that let them know what we expect. That's especially important when it comes to alcohol and other drugs. Kids need to know the dangers and how to avoid them. And when it comes to pain medications, opioids, they need to know that they should never be taken without a prescription and never shared with friends or family. It's dangerous and illegal. So talk with your kids, because when you talk, they hear you. Hi, Grandma. Can Nina come over for dinner? Sure. I've been meaning to ask you, what would happen if someone offered you a drink? Grandma! If anyone ever does, I want you to say, no, I have too much respect for my family and I don't want to get in trouble. I promise, Grandma. They really do hear you. 
For tips on what to say, visit underagedrinking.samsa.gov. That's underagedrinking.samhsa.gov. This message brought to you by SAMHSA and this station. Yo, what's going on? Y'all listening to Sky's Crescent Radio, and here's what's coming up. On the first Sunday of the month, we have the Poet Podcast with Dale Novella. On the second Sunday of the month, we have the Soul Tree Spotlight with Erlene Steven. And we also have Keeping It Funky with Troy Weeks. On the third Sunday of the month, we have Boozy News with Supreme Bars. And on the fourth Sunday of the month, we have What's Really Good with Jeanette Berry and Clout Dealers with The Label Noir. And every Sunday at 7, we have Can We Not with Evan Combus. Peace. It's hard to miss a day of work, but it's easy to spread influenza. Stay home if you get sick. It's the flu season. For more information on symptoms and treatment, visit mdhflu.com. Sponsored by the Minnesota Department of Health, aired by the Minnesota Broadcasters Association, and this station. Hi, this is Kelsey Grammer. When military service members head into battle, none are expected to face the enemy alone. But many return home and become isolated as they struggle with the visible and invisible wounds of war. It can be difficult knowing how to overcome that challenge and rekindle bonds similar to those formed in the military. Wounded Warrior Project supports these injured veterans through their recoveries by connecting them with fellow warriors and their communities. No one should fight this battle alone. Join us at WoundedWarriorProject.org. When it comes to providing guide dogs for people who are blind or visually impaired, one national organization is taking the lead. The Guide Dog Foundation breeds and trains Labradors and Golden Retrievers to help blind and visually impaired people increase their mobility and independence. The foundation provides transportation to its New York campus, the Guide Dog, a comprehensive training program, and a lifetime of aftercare services, all free of charge. The benefits to training with a guide dog at the Guide Dog Foundation in Smithtown, New York, are many. Among them are small class sizes for personalized attention, a long history of excellence in dog breeding, and a highly skilled professional training staff. The foundation offers a comfortable environment and diverse training areas from country walks to city subways. If you or someone you know could benefit from the foundation's free services, call 800-548-4337. 